All right, Fernando asks, what I should do to get out of my dad's house and out of debt while looking to get married? Dude, Fernando, you got a lot going on, man. I'm a manager for a financial institution call center making $68,000 before taxes and have 9000 bucks in my 401. I still live at my dad's house and I pay the utility bills. I'm looking to move out of my dad's house, but Arizona home prices are still high. I have over $20,000 in debt spread between credit cards, past due taxes set up on a payment plan, and 401k loans. I believe my dad would... Hey, taking up 401k loans. I believe my dad may be able to lend me money to knock out some credit card debt that would help a lot since I'm paying over 25% APR rate. Oh. However, I've never asked him for anything since I was 14 years old. I guess except for a place to live and rent. I'm not sure if I should ask my dad for money or how to ask him if I do. Oh, Fernando. Fernando. Oh, Fernando. 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 We have no clue how old Fernando is. I don't think he mentioned that. He could be 50. He could be 20. That's right. No clue. We're going to guess he's closer to 20. Let's, let's, pretend, let's just, for the sake of this, let's just pretend he's 25. All right. Okay, 25. So he's got a job uh, making 68, making 70 grand um, at a financial call institution, and he wants to move out. Okay. So he makes enough money right now that he could go get an apartment. And get his call center job and deliver for Amazon in the morning or deliver for whatever and start working multiple jobs to get this stupid debt paid off. He could um, make a really clear plan with his old man and say, I'm going to live here for um, three more months. I'm going to have zero. I'm just going to pay the utility bills. I'm going to spend no dollars and I'm going to start wiping this debt out as quick as I can. Like, we can come up with a plan like that. But he's trying to, it looks like, sounds like he's trying to do everything all at the same time. He wants to, not He's, live at dad's house, but not have some debt, but also trying to invest. Buy a house. I got some investments, but I had to take some loans out against my investments. He just got too much going on at the same time, right? Yeah, they're, that's a classic case for most people. They don't know why they're not making progress. They're frustrated and they lay out all the details on paper. And you're like, well, you could stop doing that and that and that and that and focus on one thing mm-hmm. with intensity, which is getting out of debt. That should be your next goal, which means we're pausing investing. Uh, which means we're not going to take out any more debt, which is only exacerbating the problem. And so, or the way to free yourself from your dad is not to ask him for a loan, so no. that you can move out. <laughs> from I'm going to move out, but still be chained to him with payments. Exactly. That's not going to help the relationship. So imagine going to the gym, George. This is. I'm quite, trying to go there with you. This is quite John. the stretch. I get it. All right. But imagine going to the gym. Do I have to work out? Well, yeah. That's that's kind of the the point of this this whole little uh, this little story I'm telling. You go to the gym. And you get underneath a squat bar, and you pick up one dumbbell for curls, and you attach one of your legs to one of those little band things, and you do this on a treadmill, right? You're gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get in good shape doing that. You're gonna get a lot of broken bones, and you're gonna go nowhere. But you might look right? really cool. You would not, absolutely would not. I think it's very similar, man. Like you're trying to do everything all at one time. I love that. Like get out of debt first, dude. Get out of debt. Make a plan to get out of your dad's house. Um, and go from there. Yeah, because on paper, I'm going, you make 70 grand, you have 20 grand in debt. You can do this. There's people who make less with more debt that have paid it off. So you can this do this is very, very quickly. And, and by you have the way, no a, expenses. A, a, a financial institution call center, which is, <laughs> it's, I love the way he said that, a financial institution call center. Okay. Um, he could do that. He, that, that job is, is, is going to be shift-oriented. Like, I'm working the night shift and working the day shift, so you've got plenty of time to work like crazy on another one, two, or three jobs. Figure it out. Absolutely.